Angel has a message for you today. God is telling you today. In times of trouble, when life feels heavy and the road ahead seems too tough to travel, we often find ourselves turning to higher powers for help. We might say things like, God help me or Lord forgive me seeking guidance and strength beyond our own. It's a way of admitting that we can't do everything on our own and that we need a little bit of divine intervention to get through. When we're facing challenges that seem insurmountable, it's natural to seek solace in the idea that there's something or someone out there who can help us make it through. We might find ourselves repeating these words over and over again, like a mantra, hoping that somehow they'll bring us the comfort and support we so desperately need. Jesus save me, we might say, reaching out to the one we believe has the power to rescue us from our troubles. It's a plea for salvation a cry for help when we feel like we're drowning in despair. And sometimes, just the act of saying these words can bring us a sense of peace, a reminder that we're not alone in our struggles. And we will, we might add, as a declaration of faith and determination. It's a way of saying that no matter how tough things get, we're going to keep pushing forward, trusting that somehow, some way, we'll make it through. It's a reminder that even in our darkest moments, there's still hope, still a chance for things to get better. So in those times when life feels overwhelming and the weight of the world seems too much to bear, don't be afraid to reach out to a higher power for help. Say those words, God help me, Lord forgive me, Jesus save me and believe that somehow, some way, things will get better. And remember, no matter how tough things get, as long as we keep pushing forward, we will make it through. Jack's life was filled with love and laughter, but like everyone else, he faced challenges from time to time. Whether it was a difficult day at school or worries about the future, Jack knew that he could always turn to his best friend, Emily, for comfort and support. Emily was a loyal companion who had been by Jack's side since they were children. Together, they explored the woods, climbed trees, and shared their hopes and dreams beneath the starry sky. Emily was always there to listen when Jack needed to talk, and her presence brought him a sense of peace and calm in even the toughest moments. One day, as Jack was walking home from school, he received some troubling news. His grandfather, who had been ill for some time, had taken a turn for the worse. Jack's heart felt heavy with worry and he didn't know what to do or where to turn. Feeling overwhelmed, Jack sought solace in the familiar comfort of the woods. As he wandered through the trees, his thoughts filled with uncertainty and fear, he heard a gentle voice whispering in the breeze, turn to me. Jack the voice seemed to say, I am always here for you, ready to bring you comfort and rest. Startled, Jack looked around, but he saw no one. Yet he felt a sense of peace washing over him, as if the voice had wrapped him in a warm embrace. With a deep breath, Jack closed his eyes and allowed himself to surrender to the moment. He felt the weight of his worries lift from his shoulders, replaced by a quiet sense of calm and reassurance. In that moment, Jack knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, he would never be alone. Whether it was Emily by his side or the comforting presence of the mysterious voice in the woods, he had friends who would stand by him through thick and thin. As Jack returned home to be with his family, he carried with him a newfound sense of strength and resilience. He knew that even in the darkest of times, there was always a glimmer of hope, a ray of light to guide him through. And as he looked up at the stars shining brightly in the night sky, Jack whispered a silent thank you to the mysterious voice that had brought him comfort and rest when he needed it most. Lily was known throughout her village for her kind heart and gentle spirit. Every day she would spend her time helping others, whether it was fetching water from the well or tending to the sick. Despite the joy that filled her days, Lily often found herself facing challenges that seemed too big to overcome. Whenever she felt lost or scared, she would close her eyes and whisper a prayer to the heavens above, 
seeking guidance and strength. I may not see you, but I know you're there, Lily would say softly, her voice filled with faith. Help me to believe in what I cannot see and to trust in what I hope for. With those words, Lily would feel a sense of peace wash over her, as if a warm embrace was wrapping around her, comforting her in times of doubt and uncertainty. One day, a terrible drought descended upon the land, turning the once lush fields into barren wastelands. The villagers grew anxious as their crops withered and their water sources dried up. Despair hung heavy in the air as they struggled to survive in the face of adversity. Lily, too, felt the weight of the drought pressing down on her shoulders. But instead of giving in to despair, she turned to her faith, knowing that even in the darkest of times, there was always hope. I may not see the rain clouds, but I believe they are there, Lily prayed, her voice echoing across the parched land. Guide us through this trial and help us find the strength to persevere. Day after day, Lily continued to pray, her faith unwavering despite the seemingly endless drought. And then, just when it seemed like all hope was lost, a miracle occurred. Dark clouds gathered in the sky, rumbling with the promise of rain. The villagers watched in awe as droplets of water began to fall from the heavens, refreshing the thirsty earth and bringing new life to the land. Tears of joy streamed down Lily's cheeks as she looked up at the sky, her heart overflowing with gratitude. In that moment, she knew that her faith had been rewarded and that even in the face of the greatest challenges, miracles could happen for those who believed. From that day forward, the village prospered once again, their fields blooming with abundance and their spirits lifted by the power of faith. Type 1111, if you agree. The villagers watched in awe as droplets of water began to fall from the heavens, refreshing the thirsty earth and bringing new life to the land. Tears of joy streamed down Lily's cheeks as she looked up at the sky, her heart overflowing with gratitude. In that moment, she knew that her faith had been rewarded and that even in the face of the greatest challenges, miracles could happen for those who believed. From that day forward, the village prospered once again, their fields blooming with abundance and their spirits lifted by the power of faith. Type 1111, if you agree.